Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on the brand new Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I know a lot of you have wanted to see my review on this foundation, and I specifically didn't want to do a first impression on this because if you've seen other videos of this product, it has micro glitter in it, some shimmer, and I was comparing this to other products that have that glow. I know some people have said Charlotte Tilbury. It kind of reminds them of that, but with more coverage. The particles of this are even more visible than any other facial product that I have. So my worry was that with sensitive skin, if you're applying something like that with these bigger particles in it, specifically glitters, it might exfoliate the skin for those who are sensitive and cause irritation. So I wanted to make sure I have sensitive skin, that I didn't have any issue, I didn't have to stop partway through filming or anything like that. Really wanted to test it out in full to see if I had any sort of reaction or irritation due to those micro glitters that I know some people are gonna to be totally put off by just seeing that initially. I have put this to the test. I have a couple wear tests in here that I'm gonna put pictures at the end. It's gonna be a fairly short video. I'm not taking you along through the day like a first impression. I have multiple images of wear tests that I've done for this. And for my video specifically, I wanted to show you application on the face and give you all my thoughts on this. However, I do have a first impression on the brush that launched with this. This is the Makeup by Mario F4 brush. This is a dual ended brush for foundation. This is the thing that's new to me. I figured while I'm testing out this foundation, why don't I go ahead and pick up the brush? I haven't seen anyone else use the brush. I love dual ended brushes. I thought it'd be perfect to test this out and let you know my thoughts. Here's what the brush looks like. One side is smaller than the other, a little bit more dense, not too dense still, and this one's a little bit fluffier fluffier and bigger. So this will be a first impression of, I can tell automatically whether I like a brush or not just for the application, especially foundation. I'm particularly excited about this. All my, hold on. If you guys have been following my channel, you know my love for the new BK Beauty 109 brush. And these launch individually on January 17th. As soon as I opened this, I knew right away by the feel and the size, that this end made for application of the foundation is almost identical to the BK Beauty 109 in size and shape. These are virtually the same. The Makeup by Mario might be a little bit flatter than the BK Beauty, but in feel and size, pretty much shape, I would say that this is a dupe for this brush. You don't get the other end, but if you're just looking for a really good foundation brush, this has been my go-to lately. And it's what I've been using for with the Makeup by Mario foundation. So I already know this is gonna work out for me. A little bit more you might wanna know about the foundation before we go ahead and apply it. It has a natural finish, but also it says it's a luminous foundation, which is a little bit contradictory on the Sephora website, but you will see what they mean by that. It is a liquid formula, hydrating, long wearing, medium coverage, breathable, buildable, and the color is true. We have grapeseed oil and vegetal squalene providing restoring moisturizing benefits. And it also has perfecting powders in it, which I thought was really interesting because this is supposed to work with skin's natural texture for a smoothed and enhanced finish. For something with these micro glitters to have some perfecting powders kind of makes sense to me. And I can see how this is more perfecting than some other foundations that are luminous. I don't find it emphasizes my texture too much. I don't agree with some other claims for this foundation, but we will get to that in this review. I'm trying to make this very comprehensive and short. If you were curious about this foundation, the brush also retails for $39 Canadian. The foundation is 55 Canadian. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But we're gonna go ahead has a nice pump, pump it out on the back of my hand. This is the consistency. It almost feels like a gel suspended and also a liquid. You can see that it's a little bit thicker, but also runny at the same time. It's very interesting in terms of the formulation. It is a liquid foundation. The finish is not natural to me. You can see if I can get a nice close up for you on these micro glitters, this is luminous. 100%. It wears luminous too, even more. Currently I have dry skin and this 
wears very luminous on my skin. So I'm gonna apply a very thin layer first to show you how buildable it is, how you can definitely get multiple coverages out of this foundation depending on what you're going for. Want something a little bit more natural, want to build it up fuller. It feels lightweight. It says it's a breathable foundation. I equate that to feeling lightweight. This is very lightweight. And for the hydrating aspect, at the end of the day, I do find my skin feels good. Because there's certain foundations and just products in general that when you wash your face at the end of the day, you notice you feel drier or your skin just doesn't feel as good. This is definitely a product that after applying it, it makes my skin feel better, which is always a positive for me. I want my skin to feel even better at the end of the day if I'm going to be applying makeup. So this is great that it's hydrating because I can lean dry, but I don't find it's hydrating in the sense that it's going to slip off my face. It definitely has that long wear to it and it doesn't break apart even though it's luminous. I'm just building this up now. So compared to the lighter coverage side, you can definitely build it up, still look skin light, still feels lightweight. This is one that I feel you have to set. I know some people haven't been, and for me, that's just not a possibility. Like this needs to be set. This says it's a medium coverage. I feel like you can get light. You can also build it up to a medium. I don't think this builds all the way to full, but definitely a fuller coverage than I had anticipated from Makeup by Mario. I thought for sure that this was gonna be very sheer in coverage and not have as much as it does. So I was personally pleasantly surprised by the amount of coverage that this has. And I am currently wearing shade 12O, which is a olive undertone. And I don't have any self tan on right now. If I did, I would go with 14O. So my self tan is faded quite a bit. So this might be a tad dark for me right now, but for most days, this has been matching me. I just can't wear this for a fresh tan. So I just didn't bother for this video. I figured I'd rather it be a little bit darker than be too light. When this is too light on me, it looks ashy. So fresh tan, this looks ashy. And if you're similar to me with that, I would do the 14-0. I think that's a really nice color match. And then the 12 is good for most days for me. I don't even know if I would use this side for foundation. This might be just the perfecting side, press everything in, take off any excess, or I would use this for powder. But this honestly applies my foundation exactly like the BK Beauty 109. I can't tell you a difference. They're both identical for application for me and the feel, like the same density too. Truly identical. <laughs> Here is the foundation built up. In terms of its layerability, I find this similar to how Armani Luminous Silk builds on my skin. I really haven't reached a point where I feel like this is too cakey. It just seems to work. It just blends in and melts in seamlessly to my skin. So I can really see how this is natural in terms of the texture of the skin, how it looks like for that. However, it is a luminous finish, so texture, natural finish luminous and i also have one problem is with the color true claim and i do feel like this oxidizes ever so slightly not to the point where i would say it's horrible and it's gonna go down like several shades or anything like that but i do feel like at least for my shade it does get a little orange in the oxidization and does deepen up ever so slightly throughout the day. That's something I've noticed every time I've worn it. It's not enough for me to not purchase this because when I say orange, it's a very slight oxidization, but something I felt I needed to mention because I've noticed it every time I've worn it. So you can see the luminosity, you can still see the texture of my skin. It looks like my skin, just everything's matching now, all cohesive. I love how fresh faced it makes me feel, reminds me of how the house labs looks initially. However, that gives me that luminosity without these micro glitters. So I feel like I lean towards house labs just because it doesn't have those particles in it. I was curious if you could actually really notice the particles and lighting dependent, you can. It is very, very subtle though. So I don't feel like it's something to be concerned about if you have sensitive skin, if you're worried about 
working it onto your skin like I was for it to kind of micro exfoliate your skin. It's not gonna do that because it does disperse. It's very, very fine and I don't notice it too much, but I do notice it. I can see the sparkles on my face when I get up close and depending on the lighting, especially in my basement for whatever reason, you can't see it on camera lighting. And I'm gonna try and show you the best I can, the reflex it can pick up depending on the lighting. When I was taking some video on my phone, I could tell. Like you can see those sparkles in the foundation. So if that's off putting, automatically skip it. You're not gonna want it if you can occasionally detect a little sparkle on your face. I know that can be annoying. I think it looks so pretty. In most lighting, I think it looks beautiful, but there's that occasional lighting. It really picks up on those micro shimmers in the product, which makes sense for showing this on camera. Sometimes you can't really notice and then people go to different sort of lighting so you can actually see. It's the same in person on your face. Like depending on the lighting, you're gonna see it. Sometimes you're not. Most times you're not, but you definitely are on occasion. So now I'm going to show you my wear test. These are a full day, 12 to 16 hour wear of the foundation. In the first one, I have one side of my face primed with my Huda Beauty and the other side unprimed. You can definitely see some of my natural oils peeking through on the unprimed side. So this is a foundation that I do feel like works best with a primer, especially because it's so luminous. It maintains the luminosity on the prime side, but not to the point of looking oily and greasy on the unprimed, and I have normal skin. And I found it looked pretty oily at the end of the day. Then the second wear test that I have for you, which you'll see in this picture, is my full face, all my usual products that I use, and how this would look at the end of the day with my primer setting spray, set face with powder, all the stuff I typically use, this is how my skin holds up. So I do feel like with all my favorites, it looks even better than the first time I wore it. However, it still has that very luminous quality at the end of the day. That being said, even though it's luminous, it doesn't lift off anywhere. My skin all around, I have zero patching, no lifting. It is one with my skin, it hasn't settled on me. I can see where this might become a problem, specifically in deep smile lines or deep wrinkles. This foundation I don't feel like is as mature skin friendly because I can tell for my wrinkled areas, this definitely could have the potential to settle into those fine lines and wrinkles. And I have a bunch of other foundations that I feel like I would recommend to others that would work better on those type of skin types. Not to say I wouldn't say don't try this, but I do find just because this does highlight certain things because of that luminous quality to it, it might accentuate those fine lines and wrinkles at the end of the day, especially if you're prone to settling. So I have a lot to say about this foundation. I had good and some negative things to say about this. I feel like some people are gonna love this, some people aren't. And because of my reasons in this video, I hope this helps you out figure out are these deal breakers for you? Are these things that you look for in a foundation? This is definitely something that I'm going to continue to wear and use and I do like how it wears. I know I wanna have a dewy looking luminous skin day to wear this. And I also wouldn't personally wear this for a long day wear, even though this is a long wear foundation, only because I do think that this can have that potential of settling, which is something that I personally would avoid for a long wear foundation. I try not to say any product so amazing you have to go out and buy. I try and give you the pros and cons to really help you make an informed decision. And also for the brush, if you have been wanting the 109, I'd pick that up if you're not a fan of dual ended, honestly exactly the same. I'm personally gonna use this a ton because this is exactly like this, which I love. Plus has that other end, which I feel like I will use for powder. But I'm going to hop off camera, finish off the rest of my makeup so you can see how it looks all said and done. I feel like I've been talking a lot about this foundation just with it on my skin. I truly wanted you to see it just as is for you to make up your own mind about it and I will come back and finish off this video. So here's the finished face, how everything looks like applied on top of this foundation. I think it's a really pretty foundation for initial application. I think, as I said in the video, 
that it does wear, but very, very luminous at the end of the day. A little bit more so than what I personally am comfortable with. Still pretty nonetheless, looks very fresh, looks like my skin, lightweight. I feel like it never fully sets down, so it's not one that I would be touching your face or if you're a face toucher, probably not the best foundation for you because I feel like it does kind of come off. I also forgot to mention that applying this to my nose can be a little bit finicky. I found some days that it wouldn't stick to my nose very well. Today I didn't have that issue, but when I wasn't wearing a primer and it just going on top of moisturizer, I found it very hard to stick to my nose. When I prime my face with my Huda Beauty Glowish, absolutely no issue. Those are my final thoughts about the foundation. I feel like some people are gonna love it, some people aren't. It's not a foundation that I would recommend for everyone because of the reasons I said in this video. So I hope this video helped you out. I tried going very in depth with this and testing it out for multiple days, especially because I was concerned about the sensitivity aspect, specifically for my skin. I thought it could be quite irritating for me. However, I've had no issue in the days that I've used it. I usually can tell right away if something's going to bother me pretty much right away or within 48 hours. And I've tested this a lot longer than that. Brush I actually would recommend more so than the foundation. If it was something you were eyeing, I think it's a great brush. And I know it's gonna be one that I personally use on the daily because of the dual ends and how versatile I feel like it is. You can use the brush for cream liquid powder very versatile, as I said, two brushes in one. What more could you possibly want, honestly? I'm always looking for more foundation brushes. And since I discovered the 109 and love the shape of it, this kind of makes it even better because it has a dual end for me. But I know some people don't like the double-ended brushes, so that's why I wanted to give a little shout out to that one as well in this video. So thank you guys for waiting for this video, for wanting to see my review on the Makeup by Mario foundation. Thank you for taking your time out of your day for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. As I said, I hope this truly helps you out in your decision whether to purchase or pass this particular foundation. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button, the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos, and I will see you guys in my next one.